Hi, my name is Michiel Frankfurt and I'm the creator of MF SSDI. This is part two of the advanced features tutorial. Please check out my other two videos where I lay the groundworks and go over the basics if you haven't done that already. Um, in this video, I will be using SSGI objects overrides to light the factory track. The scene is created by Little Chicken uh, for their upcoming race game Blitz GT. It's, it's very cool. So if you like what you see, head over to blitzgt.com. Um, it's a vehicle or battle game where team play is most important. You can even sign up and who knows, we could be playing together at some point. So uh, yeah, let's dive in and set up some lighting. Welcome to the factory track. This, uh, this track is the second uh, track in Blitz GT. You might recognize it from, um, from the trailer here. And currently SSGI is turned off. Let's turn it on. And already you can tell the difference quite clearly. A lot more contrast, a lot more shadows, a lot more occlusion going on here between the pipes, objects in the, in, the, in the distance there. So let's head over to this area. And again, you can clearly tell the uh, the difference. A lot of occlusion in between these uh, boxes there. Nice light strip. And uh, yeah, I think we can uh, tweak a few things here to make it even uh, make it look even better. So let's focus on the light strip and uh, let's use the same trick as we did with the, uh, the vehicles with car wheels. So we go to scene view, we'll select the, uh, the light capture here. And uh, I've already pre-selected the, uh, the emissive strip that we see uh, over here. Um, what we want to do is we want to make it brighter. Now we can do this by increasing the intensity, uh, but much as with the, uh, the panels, uh, this just doesn't look very good. Um, and we want to help the renderer find uh, the light strip. So if you look at the SSGI pass, you can tell that not a whole lot of samples here in the bottom were able to find the light strip because it's very thin, very narrow. It doesn't take up a lot of screen space. So therefore, if a, uh, a light uh, array scatters around, uh, the chances of hitting it hitting the light strip are quite slim. So we want to help the um, the renderer uh, by increasing the virtual size of the light strip. So let's add a SSGI object to it. And this allows us to virtually expand the, uh, the size of the strip. So let's go over to the, to the light capture and let's scale it up. And already uh, you can tell that it's emitting more light. Now you don't have to look here at the visual quality. It looks very stretched, of course, because it takes this, the, the image from the uh, the pixels from the image and then stretches it uh, on top of new geometry. Uh, so it looks very jaggered, but it doesn't matter because it's, it will never be visible to the, uh, to the user anyways. Uh, but it does uh, indeed help with the light scattering. Now it's a bit too much because now all of a sudden it's so big that light is also being casted here on the, the boxes in the background. So we probably have to reduce it a bit uh, just to make sure it's not uh, over there. You can still choose between will we use the normal or the uh, the vertex position. In this case, the normal looks best and reacts better to the uh, to the actual scaling. Uh, cool. And now we can uh, increase the intensity a bit more. Nice, very nice. I think this looks very cool. So now that we have set up the uh, the light strip, um, to give you an example how this would look with a uh, dynamic object. In this case, it's a race game, so you might want to check out how that works with uh, the cars, for example. Uh, so yeah, I think the uh, the difference is very, very profound, very, very clearly visible. Uh, and all of a sudden, it feels like the uh, the car is part of the environment. And uh, yeah, and this is just uh, just real time, right? That's the cool thing about uh, screen space solution. You don't have to worry about um, baking or we have solutions to make this work well on, uh, on real-time objects. So yeah, I hope you like it. Let's head over to the uh, to the other part of the track. Welcome to uh, another area in the factory track. Uh, this is a cooling tower, and um, yeah, uh, let me give you a look from the outside what it looks like. It's a very cool. Uh, tower here um, I've already done a, a setup a quick setup so 
here we can tell there's a lot of uh, more shadows and contrast going on really like the occlusion on the ceiling also for example these pillars here you can clearly tell that the uh, ssgi pass is turned on uh, what i also love is this uh, vista where we look outside light from the outside comes in scatters around here on the uh, on the door pole and on, on this on the on the floor uh, but also for example these uh, tiny little light scatters with a little bit of red reflection and yeah all in all it's just uh, it's just very pretty to look at uh, so in this uh, example I'm gonna focus again on the uh, on the light strip here on the ceiling so let's uh, find it it's called the uh, emission strip so here we go that's the one that I need to find uh, let's go over to the scene view and the, uh, the light capture pass and yeah let's do the same trick as we did before i'll be adding an ssgi object to it and i'll just increase the uh, the size of it now, as soon as the size comes it becomes bigger we might need to counter the amount of light coming off uh, we do want it to be brighter but we don't want it to uh, oversaturate everything else so um so yeah by increasing the physical size it will be uh, much easier to find uh, for the renderer and to use as a light source. This increases image stability. Uh, we can uh, we don't need as many samples to find it, which means that we can lower the resolution or lower the the, uh, the amount of samples that we use by, for example, switching to a uh, lower quality profile. And uh, this helps us with the uh, overall quality of the image. I think it's a bit too bright. Uh, so, for example, uh, this entire object here. Just a wall maybe we just want to say like okay let's just do another overwrite and uh, make it receive less gi just to uh, to counter it i think this looks uh, more natural maybe even a bit more all right so there we go uh it's out yeah, it was simply too close to the light source and it was uh, burning out so i think this is very pretty especially if you uh, compare the two it's uh, it's day and night uh, difference, right? So, yeah, I uh, I hope you like it. So that wraps it up. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you already purchased MF SSGI, thank you for supporting me. If not, please consider buying it, as it will help me to uh, to improve and support this asset. I hope this video and the showcased feature set convinced you to give it a try. Um, I also have a forum thread on the Unity forums. You can find more information there. I'm still actively developing this asset. So make sure to check that out for the latest news and updates. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.